Hello again, AZ from Digital Goja Showrooms. And today we're going to take a look at the Canon 430EX3RT. Remember, if this video helps you out, hit me up with a like button underneath. And remember to subscribe to our channel for any tutorials and sessions such as this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Do I need another accessory to trigger? No, you don't. Actually, most of today's cameras that have a built-in flash, especially in the EOS Rebel line, here I have a very popular Rebel T6i, have that capability built in because you can work with the original flash that's in the camera. So let's go into the menu and set it up. Now, as always, you need to set your camera to manual so you can activate the entire menu system. If you leave it on any other modes, you won't have full access. Now all the folders are opened up and you want to go to the first folder, which shows your camera. Scroll down to flash control. Of course, you always want to enable flash. And then we want to go into built-in flash settings. And notice how the first one, you can set it up for normal firing or easy wireless. If you're a novice, start out with this one. This is the most common to use. Now, we're going to go to our flash itself, turn it on, and we're going to activate. If you notice, you have this setting right here with the little lightning bolt moving side to side. That's your wireless setting mode. So if you're going to use this guy as a slave, boom, switch it over to slave, and notice how it activates it on the monitor there. You're, look at your LCD, and it does say that it's now on slave mode. And when you move it forward, notice how that blinking light, it's on optical slave mode. So it's actually looking for another flash to set it off. So let's pop up our internal flash. And in turn, when I fire, it fires the 430 EX3. There you go. No other accessory needed. 